Hello, welcome to another camping vlog and today's exciting. I have a new tent. Um, it is the Van Gogh Classic Instant 300. I'm reading that off the label because I forget. Um, which is a new tent from Van Gogh. It's actually a pop-up tent, which um, I know what you're thinking, probably pop-up tent, load of rubbish. But this one actually looks pretty decent. decent. Um, <laughs> It's based on the Van Gogh, on the old Van Gogh Force 10 sort of triangle tents. They even do um, the classic orange colour as well. I've got it in this sort of colour. Um, they also do it in like a geometric, I think it's called, like a blue colour, which is lovely. Um, but I managed to get this one on a deal from uh, Millets. So the idea behind it is it's smaller than my other one. For those who've watched my previous videos, I've got a larger Van Gogh Cragmore 500. Um, but the idea behind this one is for when I'm working away, which I am at the moment, um, I just wanted something really fast and quick to put up and most importantly also put away in the morning so as I can get to work early rather than having to spend like an hour packing the tent away. Um, so I've had a little go with it when it arrived the other day, as you do. I couldn't resist having a look at it. So um, I've, I've put it up sort of, well, semi put it up once um, and it's incredibly easy to put up. And uh, yeah, let's let's get it out of the bag. Let's have a look at it. And um, here we go. Let's try it out for the first time. So the fly sheet is separate from the inner tent. You put up the inner tent first. But I do have a feeling that once I've put it up once, I think, and from the review that I've seen online, you can leave the inner tent attached. So you get a packet with your tent pegs in. There are two poles that you put in the tent. Um, that are sort of just to add. Some more support to it. This is the fly sheet I'm pulling out of here, which is a nice colour. I thought it'd be the same colour as my other tent, but it's a slightly, slightly different colour. I'm quite pleased with it compared to what I thought it was on the picture. But I'll shop around for this because they have got it on offer at various different places. Um, and then this is the main tent. The only thing is it is quite longish, so it's a bit of a long lump. And it's not that lightweight either. I think it's around seven, seven kilograms, something like that. So that's the bag with the two poles in. And this is the main structure. I put these bits of string on it the other day to hold it together. This is it, a little look at the outer. So I think what I might do is put some pegs in it. And then put the fly sheet on after. It's a reasonable size. So it's just a case of um, pulling on these to pull it out and to get it back in. It's just a case of pushing them in to sort of pop them back in on both sides. That is it. They're quite an ingenious design. These are the tent pegs it comes with. Just basic pegs. Right, thank you. Let's just start getting windy as well. Um, it's falling over. So let's get it pegged now. Let's get it pegged. Let's get it pegged.
that's the fly sheet on. Now, let me just grab all the rest of what flies away. Underneath here, on your red bit there, there's a toggle on the fly sheet as well, which just goes through here. So you just clip this on, like so, that goes through there. And I think on the, the video that I watched online, you have to remember to unclip that when you fold it away. So let's do the same the other side of the bottle. Two guide ropes, that's what I'm with it. Tell you about my site that I'm at in a bit as well. So let's get this stake down. I've just roughly pinned it down because I can always go around and tidy it up. I think I'm going to try and put the two poles in um, before I really peg it down because I think that'll squash it down. So it'll probably be easier to get this in. Um, you've got plenty of tent pegs. I've put the pegs in to the pegs that held down the sort of ground sheet part but I don't think you actually need to do that because you've got plenty of pegs in the bag so that's the pole just a case of clink the arrows in two halves that's that. Let's have a look inside. Okay, so you can run back the door, which I think I'm going to do. So the poles. You have like a little um, bit tab that it pushes in there and then you have a velcro tab at the top here which you undo and then bend it and put it in there and then you've got two velcro tabs one there and one there which hold it up and that gives it strength so you've got one this side and then one the opposite side on the other side so just two poles and that is it and then Nice storage area, same at the front and back. It's a mirror tent, so the, the front is the same as the back, so you've got a zip on the back door as well, so you've got all this storage here for your stuff, as well as on the front as well. So, so far, so good. Impressed so far. That is a wrap. That's it up. Well, that was my first time, and it literally took minutes. Um, I've just been round and tidied it up, stretched the the fly sheet out a bit more, and put the other pegs in, put the guide ropes down, and yeah, so far I love it. I love the classic um, design of it. I mean, I should think that would go through a storm very easily. As being a triangle shape, there's not really a lot that can happen to it. And putting those pegs in, it certainly feels pretty sturdy. It feels pretty good. Yeah, I like it. And for the money, I think it's a great tent. So here we go. Fire retardant, 3000 millimeter waterproof on the fly sheet. Great for festivals and things this. And uh, quick, like I'm doing just a quick overnighter. And a little pan round at the site that I'm at. I'm the only tent here tonight, I think. I was just chatting to the guy at the gatehouse. Apparently the new owners have taken it over recently, so they're doing a lot of work to it. So far impressed with this campsite, it's very nice. I believe at the moment it's adults only, even though there is a kids playground behind me. Um, 
and we've had an awful lot of rain yesterday but the ground is still bone dry here which is good right, I'm going to get the uh, inner um, parts of the tent in and get set up I'm thinking about trying out my thermal inner tent to see if it fits in there for those who watched my previous videos I've got a crewer colour um, insulated inner tent for when there's cold weather which I don't think I need tonight but I might just stick it in there just to see if it fits in there just so you can see the size of it, the insulated inner tent easily fits inside. Um, length, width, height, everything. This tent is built as a three-person tent and the inner is a two-person, so yeah, no problem at all. You could even move it right to the side. Still have a load of space down the side, but I think for tonight it's going to be warm, so I'm not going to need this, and for speed in the morning, I'm going to pack this away now and just sleep in the actual tent tonight. I don't need uh, an insulated tent tonight, it'll be too warm. Bed in there. Ah, put the mattress topper on, does add an extra level of comfort. Sleeping bag is the Van Gogh Radiate Single. Up in there. It's my sleeping bag liner. And we are done, basically, for sleeping or anyway. Just set up the lights, cooking stuff, and that is it. Box all my bits in, gonna hang up my uh, mosquito and lamp. Which there's a hanging point up here in the roof of the tent. The only thing that I can see is that the um, mesh goes very close to the, or if not touching, the outer tent here. So it'd be interesting if there's condensation in the morning. Well, I think that looks pretty cosy in there. Everything I require. With loads of space. It's not cramped in there at all grab some water and have a little look at the facilities and a little look around the park. It's not a big park, not a lot to look at, but I'll show you anyway. I booked this on Pitch Up, like most of my sites I tend to book on Pitch Up. I just see what's going, read the reviews, generally get a good idea for the place. It's going to require a huge amount of water, there are showers and everything here, so it's only been for making tea and stuff. Look at that lovely little tent. <laughs> Here you've got your toilet and shower block. Here there's a nice washing up area. And there is old laundry machines as well. Leaflets and stuff. Table toilet. And the ladies and gents toilet. The showers, which are clean inside, which I'm gonna try out later. 
sinks. Um, so I'm going to make some dinner now and just chill out for the evening. England are playing football tonight, but I can't be bothered to watch it. I'm not really a football person, um, but I am loving the new tent. <laughs> Here we have all the dinner making facilities on the back of the car. So for tonight's dinner, it's the usual. Um, Huel, katsu curry, vegetable soup, pines, coffee, and I've also got a Huel bar as well for later. Um, I should have said where I'm at. Now, I always forget the name of the campsite, so let me check. Gate Housewood Country Park, which is in Rotham Heath, which is sort of between Seven Oaks and um, East Malling, I think it is. Um, so I shall leave the details for it on the description on here. Um, as I say, I booked it by Pitch Up. Um, do recommend it, it's nice and quiet, lovely and peaceful. People do complain about the noise from the road, but it's very light. I mean, very, very light traffic. And I'm sure this evening when, when the traffic dies down even more, you, you're not really gonna hear it. It's not too bad at all. But for your location, you are very conveniently located for the motorway and everything, and in a good, good part of the country to get to a lot of different places. Well, I had a lovely shower and uh, wash and everything and brush my teeth and basically got ready for bed. So I'm gonna um, sit and watch some YouTube for a bit, have an early night. Um, there is tons of space inside here. Let me show you around. So, there's like loads of space next to me. Easily very comfortable for two people in here. I've got my mosquito zapper on. I've put some spray on as well because I've seen some flying around. Also, I noticed there's like a woodland walk that goes, you can go up some steps by the gate and it goes all the way around the campsite and you've got a great, when you get up to the top bit, you've got a really good view. Um, unfortunately, I didn't take my phone with me to film it, but it was nice. <laughs> anyway, I shall see you in the morning to see how quick I can pack away the tent. So, good night. Good morning. Well, I slept really, really well. The alarm woke me up this morning. Um, went off to sleep at about, I think it was about half 10 actually. So I had a great night's sleep, um, set the alarm for 5.30 this morning. And it's a beautiful sunny day. I've just had my breakfast, my porridge and a coffee. Um, no issues with the condensation. I mean, the uh, obviously the inside of the tent is damp, but it hasn't dripped or anything onto me. It's bone dry on the floor. Um, so yeah, all good. Uh, no problem at all. Uh, the only thing is because the fly sheet is obviously damp because it's, it's the morning, um, I don't know whether to leave it on like I said I was going to do. I might just, um, for how long it takes, I might just take it off and chuck it in the back of the car loose so as I can dry it out. Uh, I think might be a better idea. Um, so yeah, I'm going to uh, get packed away. I'll put the camera on so you can uh, see it packed away. I might just leave the fly sheet just to see if um, if I can actually roll it up and then, because uh, it only takes two seconds, doesn't it? So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try that out and then um, get it in the car and then I've got to go to work. Boo.
So as you can see, I definitely think you could roll it up and put it back in the bag with the fly sheet on, but I'm not going to do that because it is damp. So, but you saw how quick that was to pack away very fast. And that is it, done, ready to roll. Good bike, camp, good bike campsite. I think I'll probably come back here, maybe the weekend actually, if we can get booked in here. Um, I did enjoy myself here. I've got 15 miles to go now to get to work. Um, off to a school this morning to do my Punch and Judy show. Uh, please make sure you hit like and subscribe. Uh, let me know if you've got any questions about the tent. I'll try and answer them. Um, or if you've got one of the, um, the Van Gogh classics, uh, let me know how you're getting on with it. Or if you've got a Force 10 as well, <laughs> if you've still got one of those, um, leave a comment. It'd be interesting to compare the two, actually. Um, old versus new, that'd be quite a good video, wouldn't it? Anyway, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.